subscribe to tech droids turn on notifications and join the squad for more videos on pc builds smartphones and all things technology so if you're a tech head this is the right place for you hey what is up guys this is yusuf here from tech droids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today we're going to compare the amd rx 550 against the nvidia gt 1030 so in this video i'm going to give you the physical specifications some real benchmarks with a moderate balanced gaming pc and also at the end of the video i'll give you a conclusion and my overall opinion on which is the best gpu under 100 dollars and sh should you be going for either one of these and why so with that being said let's get started <laughs> So there are many variations and many versions of these graphics cards from MSI, from Gigabyte, from XFX, Sapphire and many other brands. But in this video specifically, we are going to compare the Gigabyte Radeon RX 550D5 retailing for $79 against the NVIDIA or Zotac GT1030 that retails for $69. So that being said, let's get into the Gigabyte Radeon RX 550D5 which retails for $79 and comes with a 2GB GDDR5 frame buffer, 512 stream processors. A overclock mode of 1195 MHz and a boost gaming mode with 1183 MHz. It has a HDMI port, DVI port and one display port. The HDMI port supports 4K at 60 Hz and the display port supports 8K at 60 Hz. It also has one special feature that is H.265 HEVC encoding. That means it's better for you know media consumption and also encoding and decoding high bitrate footage in these formats. So it should suit well into a media PC or some sort of media consumption PC or just basically doing day-to-day -day task. It runs on a 128-bit memory interface and also comes with a 7000 MHz memory clock, supports DirectX 12 and takes only 50 watts of power. And the pros of these graphic cards are ports, design, better you know for media PCs and it also offers some better performance from integrated GPUs. Now the design is totally subjective if you really want to flaunt the GPU you can if you have a side panel or something but if this is your price bracket you should not have a really good looking case so the design should not matter. Now moving on to the Zotac GD1030 it is also a 2GB GDDR5 graphics card with 384 CUDA cores with one DVI and one HDMI, HDMI supporting 4K at 60Hz. It also has a memory clock of 6000 megahertz and a core clock or base clock of 1227 and a boost clock of 1468. Supports DirectX 12 and only takes 30 watts of power and the pros of this being it's low profile so fits into you know most of the cases and also has better cooling and less noise. So both of these graphics cards have their own pros and cons. But in this video, we're going to make sure we decide the best one. So now we're going to take a look at the benchmarks. How do these you know, cards perform in terms of day-to-day -day gaming in modern, uh, modern AAA titles and some older titles? Now this benchmarks part of the video is not mine. Just making it clear, some sort of disclaimer. All the you know, original video links will be in the description below. And thanks to benchmarks for the you know, benchmark video. So with that being said, we are using an i5-7400 with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD storage with a gigabyte motherboard. And with that being said, let's enjoy the benchmarks. <laughs> At the end of the day, the GT1030 seems to be performing really well in terms of gaming, even though the RX 550 seems a bit, you know, better performing on paper at least, but the GT1030 for a lesser price has better performance in terms of gaming at least. And I feel it should be the, you know, better card at the end of the day because it will handle media consumption and everything else really well, but the only con being that it does not have the display port. If you're looking for that, I'd not suggest you go with the RX, Force, uh, RX 550, instead I'd suggest 
you go with the RX 560 or the 460 which is retailing for only $89 so 10 bucks more will get you better performance but the GT 1030 uh, happens to be the better card at the end of the day and if you are planning to get a budget upgrade the GT 1030 should be your you know choice of graphics card and if you want to upgrade to a you know more powerful one get the GT get the GDX 1050 for only $99 that wraps it up guys thanks a lot for watching give this video a massive thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts what you know what do you think about these graphics cards and I'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace